Hey planner babes, welcome back to another brand new video. I'm so excited that you guys are here today. If you wanna follow me, you can do so on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok using at PlannerGoAmy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another brand new video from me. Let's get into the video. Hey planner babes, welcome back to another plan with me here on my YouTube channel. And for today's plan with me, I wanted to plan in my skinny classic because it's the one I'm using the most right now. Um, I really do like the monthly planner, it's still my favorite. But I don't know, the skinny classic is, I feel like when it comes to like when I need to buy new planners because mine are done, I feel like changing up the layouts every once in a while, like because I, I use multiple planners mainly so that i have like content to show you guys but changing up at least one of the planners layouts each time whether it's size um the layout or whatever really is fun for me and i feel like it allows me to just feel like something is fresh so if you have like three or more planners i would say every you know 12 to 18 months whenever you're switching out your planners make one of them a new layout that's different i feel like it'll really help you in your planning feel like something is fresh help you be a little bit more creative in your planning if you only use one planner you have a layout that really works for you and you like it great if you have multiple planners and all of the layouts really work for you and you feel like you don't need to change them also great um but i feel like changing them like every you know every year or so like one of the layouts is kind of fun and i really like it so we're gonna plan my skinny classic on the sticker look i wanted to use Ooh, i have some residue sticker left um here is 90s um so i was born in the 90s i was actually born in 98 so not everything in the 90s i'm you know have knowledge of but i think that this would be a really fun sticker book just to use i really love it i really like it i think it's so fun um you know it's got like fun just color and stuff so i'm thinking of definitely doing some clusters like look at these these are so fun um like these Ugh, it's just so fun and colorful and look at these washi so i'm totally if i need washi i'm gonna use my striped washi from wonder washi bullet points which is perfect love that i think i'm gonna start with like a sticker probably gonna start with a cluster I think I might do one for Monday and Tuesday and then like Wednesday and Thursday. I'm not gonna use these long ones because they don't fit in this planner, um, which is fine. Um, those are good in like to use in the monthly or um, you know, the more like classic size planners or the, the mini ones, but the skinny classic, those don't fit in. Oh, sorry. I wanna do like a cluster, so. Of like a couple boxes okay so i'm thinking these because i want no icons on it in the cluster i like this one okay I'm gonna do this is next week i'm working monday i have tuesday off i'm gonna put this on monday although actually to my day off is when i want to put this because I do more on my day off when I work, I just generally work. And except for Fridays, then I go on errands. Or sometimes if I don't have work, like I don't run errands generally on a day when I have work the next day. Um, like if it's like a day off and I work the next day, yeah, I'll run errands. But if, I, if it's not my day off and I also have work the next day, I tend to not run errands just because like I tend to try to make those like relaxing days. Um, I want a little bit of foil. Oh, but I like the yellow. I'm gonna take this one because it's yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna cluster it like this. Yeah, that feels good. And then I wanna add one of these. But I also wanna add a quote. I'm gonna stick keep this on my finger. I would love to add one of these quote stickers. I have to figure out the placement of everything. I like this one. 
because it's got like some floral elements to it as well. I like this here. And then I think there's like, is there a computer in here? I'm sorry if that, like one of those, you know, I don't want to lose a sticker. One of the, no there isn't, I think there was. There's a boom box or a radio, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, there is a computer and it has a mouse already there. Okay, I just flipped it. Okay, I wish I didn't have the mouse so that I can add the mouse. And I do like the flip phone. I do like this here. Or that might be too. Yeah, I kind of like that. That. And then it could do the flip phone, it could do the Game Boy. I'm thinking the blue. That's totally... There's already an icon there. But do I double the icons? Okay, I'm thinking no to having that there. I'm gonna put this here for now. I'm gonna place this down. Um. it all out after. Just so I get it done straight. I think I'm going to just peel this off here. I'm going to tell this and peel it straight. Ooh, that's so crooked. So crooked. Sadly, working two days next week, which kind of sucks because I need the pay. But you know, we're past the holiday season, and that's the issue. When you get past the holiday season, like we're not as busy, so not as many hours to like you know give out. I want to put something there. Ooh. I like the ring pop, but I'm thinking. <clears throat> I was like brain farting and I was like, wait, I don't have a lot of space on Tuesday left. And then I remember. I'm gonna add one of these maybe. I wanna bring in some. Like that. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna pull the corner of this up. That was so And then there's some washi, like, the pages of washi. Ooh. I like this blue washi here. I like the smiley faces, so I'm going to take that. Cluster here. For this cluster, I'm gonna look through all of these boxes. I'm gonna do a pink cluster.
What color do I want to do? I think green. Okay, but I sort of don't want it to have anything. I could do. I am working Wednesday. Just like looking through the boxes here. I could do one of. I could do like a couple of boxes. I do like this one. I could like do these. I think I'm working Monday and Wednesday and that's it. And then, yeah. Long weekend, man. Mm. Bracelet keeps getting caught on like the little strings, well, like on little strings on my shirt, so that's annoying. I thought I'd talk a little bit about me. If you guys don't know, I, in college I studied graphic design, that's what I got my um, degree in in CGEP. So it's, it's like a passion of mine. It's sort of why I really like doing um, the washi tapes. Because for me, it sort of blends, you know, different things I learned. Um, you know, graphic design with planning. Like, it blends, like, both of my interests together. Um, so, yeah. So I studied graphic design in college. And I opted not to go and get a job in the field. Um... It just ended up being that I wanted to, um, you know, I ended up being in retail and kind of liked it. I mean, for a while, the reason was because most of the jobs were like in the big city. And I live in a city, yes, but not like the big, big, big city in my province. So um, I didn't want to go out there. And then I just stopped looking. And then I kind of stayed in retail because I really, you know, it was like, I guess, a comfort zone. Um, but then the, the job that I was in, which was doing food demos at Costco, I ended up not um liking it um i ended up feeling so like i hated going into work and everything um more like this and um so then what ended up happening was that i uh ooh, my brain is just, like not working right now um yeah so what ended up happening is i ended up uh, looking for another job like post COVID when things opened up. Um, and then I ended up applying to work at Michael's and Michael's was what really, my brain is not working. Okay. So when I first started, in I should restart this whole thing. I don't know why my brain is not working. So I, um, studied graphic design in college. It's my passion. It's why I like to do the washi tapes because for me it blends both, um, you know, my love for design with, um, you know, my planning, my love for planning. So I um, ended up not, well, I, I was periodically looking on the job boards for jobs in, um, you know, in my area, uh, but there were like none. They were mainly in the big city of my province or the big, big city. And I don't live in the big, big city. And I personally did not want to trek out and I didn't have a car at the time. I didn't have my license at the time. So driving was not really a thing for me. I don't know why my phone stopped recording. Anyway, so I ended up being in retail. I started with the food demos at Costco. Um, wasn't a huge fan, I've got to say. That was not, um, something that I super enjoyed, if I'm being honest. Um, it was kind of boring, and I hated going into work. Um, but, you know, I still did it. I still went into work, still, you know. And then, when COVID hit, we were actually switched over, part of us, if we wanted to, could stay on we were switched over to like we still technically worked for the company that did the food demos but we were like assisting costco 
um, was like cleaning and, um, you know, picking up the empty boxes and doing facing. Um, so that's what I kind of did. I had switched over. And then um, post, when we came back from COVID, I was like really not looking forward to going back. Um, you know, really didn't want to... Um, didn't want to go back wasn't going to be happy so then i kind of like once they were like sent out the email that says we're going back in a couple weeks um are you coming back and i said yes because like there was no way i was going to find a job that quickly in like you know a week or something so i ended up going back and then i was searching searching and then there was like a position at michael's that opened up and i shopped at michael's like pre-covid once a week I, cause I know that was before I understood when happy planner launches happened that, um, so I didn't know like happy planner launches and how they worked and everything. So I would go like minimum once a week to go look to see if there was new happy planner product because I was just, I had no knowledge on when that stuff came out. Now I'm like, have more knowledge both on like the retail side and then also from happy planner when they do their launches. So, um, I was like, why don't I apply to work at Michael's? So I applied and then um, less than like a week late, less than a week after I applied, literally the same week I applied on a Monday and on the Friday I got a call from the store manager. I uh, wanted to have an interview with me. So we had like a little phone kind of interview. He asked me some questions over the phone, obviously. And then he wanted to do an in-person interview. So I went for it, wasn't sure if I was gonna get the job or not. And then I, so yes, yeah, so I went for it and ended up uh feeling like i did well on the interview i think i thought i did well to be honest with you i'm not 100 certain um so i ended up doing the interview and i think i you know i think i did well um and then he the store manager was like um by two it was monday went for the interview it was like by tuesday night um you know I'll let you know if you got it or not. So then Tuesday night came and went and I didn't hear back anything. So I was so like disappointed. Like you can ask my mom if she even remembers. But I was like super disappointed that like I didn't hear back or anything. Um, And then my brain is just everywhere. Um, So yeah, I hadn't heard back. So I was like, oh, I didn't get it, blah, blah, blah. And then the f it was like the Wednesday or something. I got an email in the morning. Like I looked at my phone and there was like a, a mess, an email there. And I'm like, the name looks familiar. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's the store manager from Michael. So I look and he's like, yeah, sorry, we were really busy. Um, but we'd like to offer you the position for cashier. So I've been there now about two and a half years. Like, it was about a year on cash. And then I moved over to replenishment. And I do a bit of everything, if I'm being honest. So I do like cash, obviously. Um, I do replenishment. You know, I'm on the floor helping customers. I, you know, help with like, you know, unloading trucks and things like that. Um, when it happens that the truck arrives and like my hours of availability. But yeah, so I do a little bit of everything. I really enjoy it a lot. I think Michael's is a great place to work and I would totally recommend it. If you are in retail and you're looking for uh, another job, I would totally recommend Michaels, like 100%. And like, if you know somebody who's worked at Michaels and they've had a bad experience, you know, each store, the experience is slightly different. It depends on management, obviously. Management really affects the store and we have great management and a great uh, store manager that definitely, um, you know, steps up when, you know, people, if somebody doesn't show up and they're, we're missing our cashier for the morning, I can tell you that my store manager, he is right there, he is on. He's on it, um, you know, stepping up to the plate. So I would truly say that working at Michael's is awesome. Um, I I think it's it's an amazing place to work. I would 100% recommend it to anybody who is looking in the retail for a job. It's just such a good place. I think it's the halfway point of the sticker. I think I'm just gonna guess. I didn't quite get the halfway point. That's okay, I'll put an icon there or something. something. Face. Look, this smiley 
my face and you don't even notice. <sighs> yeah, the people too, like we, I don't, if I'm honest, surprisingly, because I don't work on the weekends, I don't even know everybody um, that was hired seasonally, but I know most. But definitely in replenishment, specifically, um, the people that were hired during the seasonal period, we got an amazing group of people. Um, and so, you know, honestly, it's fun going into work. And it's fun because, like, I'm a Taylor Swift fan, and somebody joined our team seasonally that is a Taylor Swift fan. And I was like, oh, my goodness, this is amazing. Um, I don't know how I, we discovered that we were both like Swifties, but, um, yeah, it was amazing. Um, so happy. And yeah, I think Michael's is such a great place to work. Like I say, um, I truly love it. And yeah. And if anybody knocks you for working retail for, you know, not necessarily, um, you know, not necessarily working one of those like nine to five, um, you know, sit down jobs. Retail is really fun. And it's that experience of getting to interact with people and getting to socialize and just like the different things too. And it's also partly the stuff, the products we sell. Like I'm not super knowledgeable on a ton of things, but we have a variety of people that have like knowledge on certain things. Like some people, they knit. So like if I know that they may have more questions uh, they may know more when it comes to knitting. Um, we have somebody who, um, she, like, often works in, like, the jewelry section putting stuff away. So she has knowledge on that. But she also paints. So she has knowledge on that as well. Um, and then, like, you just learn a lot from customers, too. Like, you notice customers will buy a lot of this. Or even, like, um, some colleagues will say, this is what I really recommend to customers and things like that. It's just fun. You know, obviously with any retail job, you always have like your Karens and stuff. Like I'm not gonna say we don't have them cause like we do, um, for sure. But, um, you know, overall I would say I really like, you know, my goals, I really like working there. Um, I'm gonna put this sticker down. that was my story on kind of my career and stuff but um you know I really like graphic design that's what like in you know I'm doing a little bit more graphic design projects now than I I go in like period where like I'll do concepts and stuff um and that's what I've been doing a lot of lately so this is the spread I think it turned out super cute if you liked it make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you picked did you pick up this sticker book it's so cute super fun if you have any favorite stickers from this sticker book you can let me know in the comments down below as always you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well as you can find the Hulk can't speak the high quality photos of this spread and other spreads as well as plan with me reels and fun reels all on Instagram and TikTok so you can also follow my washi tape brand at Wonder Washi, uh, at Wonder Washi Tape on Instagram, or you can go to wonderwashi.etsy.com. Until the next time, planner babes. Bye.